different parts of the world are exploring other things like sesame credit in China or, or genetic engineering without regulation. So people are kind of tweaking around with things. You know, Ron was saying, was pointing at this earlier, just this idea of maybe it's, maybe it is totally fine. You know, we are talking about prioritizing humanity over the markets and putting UBI in early and saving people's lives and like yeah. and their likelihood, livelihoods. And then the, uh, this alternatives like, well, what happens? We're like, aren't we fighting against evolution, the survival of the fittest right now? There are these groups of people on the planet that have accumulated so much wealth. They have, um, they have made so much uh, impact and um, the other ones might not have. And it's a roll of the dice for you to be born in a place that has that is just less socioeconomic status than another. And so is it then, <laughs> it is it's, that, just, yeah, it's just true. a fucking roll of the dice. So, <laughs> so is, it, is it our responsibility? Um, is it the responsibility of high SES to figure out how to um, funnel money through things like this value added tax and universal basic income and figure that out? Or should they just speciate and go like, I'll be in the poor class and I just won't be able to keep up, right? And just like go speciate, go colonize this cosmos. And maybe your kids and their kids and whatnot, maybe we'll like, just like leave it behind. What well, I, you know, I mean, I know you know people that have that point of view. Um, and, and to me, the, the whole thing is just so dumb because like let's say i'm uh you know a rich person in san francisco um do i really think that you know the society can disintegrate and that like my life will be just as like easy and happy and frictionless as it is now like of course not like if i have to hire bodyguards and get a bulletproof car and like you know take my kids out of school and get like a bunker somewhere and like you know i have to redecorate the bunker that sounds miserable <laughs> that sounds miserable i mean you know and, and like have to live with like constant anxiety and fear um, because studies have shown that people who are at the top of unequal societies are less happy than people who are at the top of more equal societies so to me it's just like enlightened self-interest to be like look let's try and keep society whole and it's not like the the like the survival of the fittest thing i mean like you know it's like it's not like people Stop having kids by the numbers. I mean, right now as we're sitting here, 40% of American children are born to a single or an unmarried mother. Um, it's so bad. And to, it's, it's not good. <laughs> and and it's so, so but it just goes to show that it's not problems. like all of a sudden there's like a total curtailment of like reproduction. I mean, that's not the case, uh, you know. So, um, to, but, but there is something very fundamental there, which is like if you follow just like the economic rationale being like, I'm worth a billion, like you're worth zero, <laughs> then you wind up in very, very dark uh, dystopian realities very, very quickly.